Part 1. White Clouds. Verdant Rain Moon. Tower of Black Winds. The ceaseless rains that satiate the verdant landscape of Fodlan are accompanied by fierce winds and mighty roars of thunder. This abundance of rain, sparkling as it falls against beams of emerging sunlight, is a constant reminder to the people of Fodlan that nature is ever wild and unpredictable. For when the rain finally does take pause, the clouds part and give way to a glorious rainbow. I have a new mission for you, Professor. I would like for you to take your students into Kingdom territory to eliminate some thieves. They stole a hero's relic from House Gautier of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, the Lands of Ruin. Their leader's name is Miklan. He is apparently a disowned son of House Gautier. I believe it had something to do with his lack of a crest. Such happenings are fairly common within the kingdom. The Crestless cannot unleash the Goddess's power even if they possess a relic. Nonetheless, they are still capable of simply wielding those weapons. The hero's relics are immensely powerful weapons. We must meet this threat with adequate force. Unfortunately, most of the Knights of Seros are away from the monastery, purging the apostates of the Western Church. So we are entrusting you with this mission. After all, you wield the Sword of the Creator, which is more than capable of opposing any relic. The Sword of the Creator is a powerful weapon well beyond the other relics. You have nothing to fear. However, to ensure that no harm comes to the students, we will also send the Monastery's most skilled individuals to aid you. I must remind you that you are expected to conduct yourself in a manner befitting the wielder of that Holy Sword. Also, you should know that Professor Hanneman has been looking for you. That is all. Professor, I heard about our mission for this month. A thief with a hero's relic is worrisome, but with you at our side, I'm certain we can handle him. After all, you have the Sword of the Creator. It was allegedly wielded by Nemesis, the King of Liberation. If the legends are true, you hold the power to stand against entire armies. A band of thieves should be nothing. Even the most elite Imperial forces or the Knights of Saros could not hope to defeat you. I'm just marveling at the potential. Besides, your power does not lie solely in the Sword of the Creator. You are stronger and more terrifying than you realize. Professor, when we leave the monastery, will you still think of yourself as my teacher? Never mind. I'm being thoughtless with my words. For now, let's just focus on the problem at hand. Good of you to come, Professor. I've heard much about you lately. Specifically, that you are able to awaken the sword of the Creator's power. Thusly, it seems the true nature of your crest has been uncovered. I had, of course, seen your crest before. However, at first, I failed to recognize its true nature. Eventually, it dawned on me that what is visible is perhaps merely a small part of a greater whole. In other words, your crest is too significant to be detected when using normal instruments. After this discovery, I began researching crests that might fit that description, which allowed for a temporary hypothesis. However, I could not be certain the crest my conclusions led me to was far too unusual. 
a crest thought to have disappeared from this world in the millennium since the fall of Nemesis, the King of Liberation. The Crest of Flames. That is what you possess. Your ability to wield the sword of the Creator has unequivocally proven my hypothesis. A legendary power, dormant since time immemorial and now resurrected. There can be no doubt that this ancient power resides within you. Thank you. Ghost, perhaps? No, that is surely not the case. What is that look upon your face? I am no ghost, if that is what was on your mind. No. Uh, huh? Who's there? Professor, what are you doing here? Oh? Perhaps I was talking in my sleep. Ah, oh, so you heard me then. Yes, it was a nightmare. I've had them since I was a child. Stupid, pointless dreams I can't control. It's terribly frustrating. No, they're just worthless dreams of the past. Talking about it won't change a thing. I had a feeling you'd say that. I suppose I could try, but only if you swear not to tell a soul. I appreciate it. I dream of my older brother, paralyzed, helpless. My older sister crying for help that never came. The youngest babbling words beyond meaning. I see my family dying slowly, waiting in the darkest depths for a glimmer of light. I once had ten siblings, eight older and two younger. Such a large family, and yet I became the heir to the throne. Do you know why? Every last one of them was crippled by disease, or lost their mind, or died. I was the only one left who could inherit the throne. Things kept getting worse. The darkness kept getting darker. In the end, I was the only one who survived. The nightmares are a reminder to never forget, to never allow such terrible things to happen again. Even now, I'm the only one who can carry the weight of the Adrestian Empire. The future of the Empire, of everything, depends on me. Hmm. I shared more than I intended to. I suppose there's something in the air tonight. I've never told anyone about my past before. Please, forget I said anything. Sleep well, my teacher. A stone? A stone. I do not understand. Yet, as I think of it, the pounding in my chest grows faster still. But is that me? Or is it you? Hmm.
No. Could you help me out? You must be rather bewildered by the power that was hidden within. However, know that I believe in you. I have no doubt that you will use that power justly. You will most certainly fulfill the grand destiny that the goddess has seen fit to grant you. May I ask a favor of you? May I ask a favor of you? I'm pleased to have been invited. I am grateful. Of course. How quickly this delightful time has passed. However, we must return to our work. I appreciate your effort. through the door, Professor. Swinging a sword about in the holy mausoleum? The potential for damage is too great to imagine. I sincerely hope the saint's coffins were not damaged. Were you using magic? I've heard you weren't, but... Ugh, it's torture not being able to go inside the holy mausoleum for an entire year. I'll gladly take this. I appreciate your effort.
fish so still. Wait, is it swimming sideways? Perhaps, perhaps it is resigned to its woeful fate of being plucked from the water and eaten. Ah, Professor, you are so outgoing with all of the students. I would like to have more opportunities to connect with you, though I'm certain my brother would disapprove. Might you help me with a favor? I could use your help. Now I could count on you. Hey there. Is this it? There you go. back anytime. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Oh, come to think of it, last month there was something to report, wasn't there? Thanks to you, I hear that everything was resolved. I never realized that bandits had entered. I'm not a great guard after all, am I? I hope you will forgive me one day. Professor, please leave Sylvain alone for the time being. The thing is, the bandit's leader who stole the relic is Sylvain's disinherited older brother. I have a request. Hail, Professor. If I may introduce myself, I am Gilbert. My life has been spent as a dedicated knight. I am to accompany you on your assignment. I may have slowed a step in recent years, but I pledge to you the full extent of my abilities. No, Professor. The pleasure is all mine, I assure you. that someone from House Gautier, one of the Kingdom of Fargus's noble families, is causing some sort of commotion. <laughs> what a complete disgrace to the nobility. It would seem that your reputation is on the rise. Even Lady Rhea has taken a liking to you. It's a shame I am not in your class, but I suppose I am content with my current arrangement.
for a hero's relic to be stolen, it's unheard of. And just last month, the sword of the creator was almost stolen too. <laughs> also quite unheard of. What impudence. For House Gautier to invite us onto their land, they must be desperate. But at least we'll have the stalwart knights ready to stand around and watch us do all the work. Some people are unhappy because they don't have the crest they want. And some are unhappy because they have a crest they never asked for. Western Church holds the title of Bishop. That's not as distinguished as an Archbishop, such as Lady Rhea, but it still comes with a fair amount of authority. If someone in that position plotted an assassination, I cannot help but think it must have been instigated by some outside force. There are bishops in the Eastern Church as well, but to speak frankly, they do not have much impact. They are under the influence of both the Archbishop and the Leicester Alliance, so their ability to voice grievances is quite limited. Hmm. Thank you, Lady Bernadetta. I will take my leave. Oh, good. Uh, bye! Uh, goodbye! Finally. Oh, that was awful. Just terrifying. Ah! Please don't sneak up on me like that. It was nothing big. That lady just wanted me to show her around a bit. But strangers are just so nerve-wracking. Oh, yeah? How about when I first met you and I wouldn't come out of the corner or even uncover my face? Actually, now that you mention it, it's funny. Once I started talking to you, I stopped feeling scared. I wonder why. You know, Professor, you might be the first person I've been able to speak to normally since I got here, and I have no idea why. I'm happy about it, too. When we first started out here, we had to do drills. Outside. I skipped those every chance I got. It's a terrible idea going out in the forest with all these people you don't even know. Thanks to you, though, I can actually make it through class now. I'm grateful for that. I don't know what I'd do if you weren't here. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> I'm okay. I am okay. I'm doing just fine. I feel safe here, thanks to you. What? You, you saw that? Why would you see that? You were watching me? That crosses the line, Professor. Singing? Me? Why would I be singing? I'd never be singing! I've never been so humiliated! Useless, worthless, unmanageable! Right. Hmm. The coffin of Saros in the Holy Mausoleum should have held her remains. Instead, it held the sword of the Creator. What could it mean? Shield Fraudarius. I bear the great honor of serving as a lord in the kingdom of Fargus. I have come in Margrave Gautier's stead to retrieve their stolen relic. However, as I hear it, 
A group of students is to attend to this matter. I sincerely hope no harm comes to any of them. You acquitted yourself honorably last month. To think they'd go into the Holy Mausoleum and assault the Goddess Tower. I cannot imagine the Western Church was acting on its own. Someone must have been helping them. As for the Masked Knight who escaped, his days are numbered. I hope we find him soon, so I can kill him myself. The Glory of Progress What the... I can't believe my own brother is the leader of the bandits. House Gautier is my true home. And his. Please, Professor. He really is one of the worst people I've ever known. But we still... We share the same blood. We're still family. Professor. Oh. That man I walked past earlier. That wasn't Lord Rodrigue, was it? House Fraldarius is a powerful noble family, linked to the founding of Fargus. Lord Rodrigue, its current leader, is a magnificent warrior. He's known as the Shield of Fargus. A dozen or so years ago, during the Northern Campaign in Strang, he performed splendidly as the King's right hand. Come to think of it, wasn't there someone from House Fraldarius amongst this year's students? was stolen. If this had something to do with a family conflict, I don't think I could choose a side. What if it's some kind of powerful weapon? I want one too. I know relics aren't easy to come by, but I'd still like to get my hands on one. Yes. This has been my first time to the Kingdom's North. I hear the people of North are cold and have much loneliness. Professor, I hear you have had work, uh, have worked as a mercenary in the kingdom. Did you find joy in this? You cannot remember? Is that having possibility? I have amazement. Professor, don't you think everyone's making too big a fuss over these crests or heroes relics or whatever they're called? How important can that stuff really be? Personally, I don't even care that I don't have a crest. I'll take muscles over crests any day. Heck, I'll take muscles over a hot meal. Actually... Good to see you, Professor. Did you need something from me? I was just on my way to train, so I'm pretty busy. We can talk soon. I thought school life would be peaceful and quiet with a sprinkle of drama to keep things interesting. But since you arrived, it's been one thing after another. Is that just a coincidence, I wonder? Oh, I was just kidding. Anyway, as I said before, I do like having a little drama in my life. Aristocrats are fools, allowing their lives to be dictated by their crests. Though, I suppose I am much the same in that regard. Hello. That reminds me. The Leicester Alliance is governed through roundtable conferences between the five most prominent allied dukes, the five great lords. First and foremost is Duke Regan, the Alliance's leader. 
Joining him are the heads of House Goneril, House Gloucester, and House Ordelia. Lastly, there is the newest addition, Margrave Edmund. These five each have voting power in the conferences. Before House Edmund, it was House Daphnel that was counted amongst the five. However, it is said that the head of that family relinquished their vote to House Edmund, which had only recently risen to significance. Kingdom, I would recommend taking a coat. It's chilly, even at this time of year. It also rains a fair bit. Don't get caught out there without protection, or you're sure to catch a cold. Hey there. <laughs> so, you have a crest too, eh, Professor? Does that mean you're descended from nobility? You've certainly got the look for it. I sure do wish there were more nobles like you, Professor. A teacher, a mercenary, and so very mysterious. How could a girl ever get enough? Oh. It's awful, just awful what happened with the right of rebirth. The infirmary, well, it was a mess. Things are finally calm again, and so I've come here to unwind. Let me tell you, I put all of my knowledge to use keeping those kids alive. Still, the truth of it is that when someone faces death for the first time, well, they figure out who they are. They learn if they can do it again. We can't lose them, Professor. Not to battle or to cowardice. If you can keep them going, then I will too. The Glory of Progress Creator belonging to the ancient king Nemesis. You have to master it as soon as you can. I can't wait to face off against such a legendary weapon. Hey, uh, I heard about the things you did. I'm so glad Lady Ray is safe. I figure you're a great person after all, Professor. Teach, I hear you were able to use the sword of the creator. That means... What does that mean? Could it mean that you're a descendant of Nemesis, the king of liberation? The Western Church. The Central Church. They believe in the same goddess, but oppose one another. Fodlin is a complicated place. I am sorry that the kingdom's unrest did not stop with Lord Lenato. Professor, the hero's relics are incredibly powerful. Please, be on your guard. <laughs> Mercedes. Her face looks familiar. What? 
you guys have it bad in your own way. But believe me when I say, we've got it bad too. With all that happened last month, a great many knights were dispatched to the Western Church. And now we must set out for the Eastern Church, located in the far east of the Leicester Alliance. If I must die in Alliance territory, I wish it wasn't in the mountains in the middle of nowhere. I'd much rather go on a sightseeing trip to Deirdre. Oh, you don't know? Deirdre is House Regan's domain. It's called the Aquatic Capital. Okay, I'm thinking- I've had a chance to spar with Gilbert of the Knights of Seros before. I couldn't get a single strike in! If that man is accompanying you on your assignment, you can rest assured that no harm will come to you. To be honest, he kind of reminds me of someone. But no, it must be my imagination, right? Isn't it strange? Saint Saros's body was missing from her coffin, but they found a sword in its place. Do you think she moved from her coffin and left the sword behind? Hello. So the whole plan to attack the monastery was some plot devised by the Western Church? That means they used Lenato. What right do they have to drag a good man like him into their schemes? Gerald was all furrowed brow earlier. Do you know what's got him so concerned? If there's a problem, I want to help any way I can. Okay, I doubt there's anything I can do for him, but I figured I'd ask anyway. <laughs> oh my, the Crest of Flames? Could it really? Yes, the actual crest of flames. <laughs> no, that is quite enough. I should compose myself. I must remain objective in my research. Objective, professional. <sighs> the scandal with the Western Church troubles me. We cannot afford to let ourselves be swept along, and yet... Don't you think Professor Hanneman's been acting a bit... strange? Maybe he's made some kind of big discovery. Assassination attempt on Lady Rhea, the theft of a hero's relic. I am up to my ears in foul news of recent. Speaking of, there's a terrifying rumor swirling around Garrett Mock these days. Apparently, a spirit of death wielding a huge scythe has been kidnapping young maidens. Will the madness never end? Professor, Gerald was looking for you. It seems he has gone off somewhere. If he is not in his room, then surely someone has seen him. Ask around. I have something to ask of you. I have something to ask of you. Oh, 
Professor, are you looking for Captain Gerald? I just saw him in the Knight's Hall a little while ago. He was talking with a female knight, but I didn't get a good look at who she was. Hmm. Oh, Gerald? He said something about visiting a grave. There's a graveyard attached to the monastery, so you'll probably find him there. I can't remember where the graveyard is, but I bet Sedith knows. We're back. Ah, the graveyard. Of course I know it. It can be a little hard to find. Would you like me to show you where it is? Very well. I wanted to ask you to join me, but I couldn't find you. So, here I am. I was thinking we should visit your mother. She's resting beneath this humble grave. Hmm? Oh, of course you would ask that. I wouldn't know where to begin. I suppose I haven't talked much about her. She was gentle and smart. Oh, so smart. A wonderful cook. Always kind to everyone. And she loved flowers. Whenever I brought her back an unusual flower, her face would light up. I cherish those memories. <laughs> I can't count how many times she made me happy just by smiling. And she smiled the most when she was pregnant with you. She died right after you were born. She wasn't able to spend much time with you. But she loved you with all her heart. That's the truest thing I know. Never forget it. This ring is the only keepsake I have of her. In time, it will be yours. One day, I hope you'll give this ring to someone you love as well as I love her. Well done. You have my thanks. Managing the Sword of the Creator. No problems? I hope you have not left it lying somewhere unattended or anything foolish like that. You will need the sword's power on your next mission. I trust you will handle it without much issue. Question for you. 
understanding. Let's get to work. Oh no, this is impossible. We did it! Hope this is good for something. Stay focused. I got this. I will prevail. I am Ferdinand von Eyer. <sighs> Battle. Put me in there. As you wish. That's my cue. I will get the victory. As expected.
Should I have held back? I can fight through anything. Plenty more where that came from. Each battle, a chance to grow. go. Pretty good, don't you think? Should I have held back? Thank you. 
Right makes money, right? As expected. What is that? We must all do our part. I got this. Ten. As expected. Professor, are you here to train? I knew it! Gotta train daily. Legs, back, chest, arms, abs. Gotta work them all, right? I just finished training, and I feel great. Check me out! Are my muscles bulging?
another day of training and my muscles are ready to burst. Bulging muscles mean strength. I have to be strong if I want to be a proper knight. And I have to eat if I want to keep training. Time to feast. Ah, way to hit me where it hurts, Professor. I know I'll be in trouble if I don't train my brain, too. Anyone who can't get tactics can't be a proper knight. It's just, I'm no good at remembering that kind of stuff. And training my brain instead of my body makes me sleepy. What if I start training twice as hard? Then I should only have to study half as much, right? You really think so? I can't let that happen. I guess I have no choice. I'll prove I can do it. Wish me luck, Professor. For my training and for my studies. Thanks. We must be working with each other. Ugh, whatever. We had a great result! Oh, <laughs> I see now. Impressive. Thanks. Oh yeah! Nailed it! Thank you. 
I got this. Stay focused. That's my cue. Oh no. I will prevail. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. As you wish. Put me in there. I will get the victory. Ugh. Battle. Didn't give it your all. Practice yields results. Hard for nothing. Take over for me? <laughs> Should have trained better. As expected.
jump. didn't give it your all. Each battle a chance to grow. Get out of here! <laughs> Plenty more where that came from. Just like that. beneath me.
Only a fool challenges me. My thanks. Well done. You have my thanks. This weather is unfortunate. Those villagers were right when they said a storm was brewing. But they were more afraid of an attack than they were of the storm. Let's end this quickly. The thieves have taken Conan Tower as their base. There it is in the distance. 
Miklon must be more skilled than your average thief to have overtaken a place like that. This area was the site of a massive battle several hundred years ago, when invasions from the north were at their peak. This tower was built for both surveillance and defense. It will be difficult to seize it. You know your history, Gilbert. If I recall correctly, you're from the kingdom, aren't you? I left my home long ago. If you have any questions about the mission, I'd be happy to answer them. House Gautier has always placed great importance on whether or not someone bears a crest. Margrave Gautier has two sons. A crest never manifested for his eldest. It's not hard to imagine why he left and wound up in this sort of life. There's no reason that crests should have the power to dictate someone's destiny. Don't you agree, Gilbert? He was just another victim of cruel fate. Forsaken by the goddess, who now demands his execution. The enemy is close by. We're almost to the top floor. They have nowhere left to flee, so the situation is in our favor. All we have to do is chase them down. I will prevail. Stay focused. Oh no. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. That's my cue. As you wish. Put me in there! Ugh. Battle? I got this. I will get the victory. Get ahead of myself. It's simple logic. Captain's in trouble. Hurry up, you fools! Enemies approach from the lower floors. Watch the rear flank.
comes down to this. I'm no stranger to battle. Such power dwells within.
as expected. Dead.
road yet I won't forget all I've learned For the goddess. Any skills, you know. Growth is a part of life. Could have at least tried. Any experience is worth having. You could win.
Another fight drowsiness. I think I'm improving. Go. Attack them from both sides! It's an ambush! It all comes down to this. The noble standard. Well. The mark of nobility.
stronger than this. You're better than I thought. Should have trained better. I'm stronger than I look. get ahead of myself. I'm no stranger to battle. Greater now. <laughs> All roses have thorns. Stronger?
This is my duty. Yet to be forgiven. For now, I must retreat. life. You think you can take the lance from me, huh? I'll kill you. I'll kill every last one of you!
Not bad for your kind. A bunch of spoiled, rotten children. First time fighting such a thing? Then listen well to what I say. An evil power has caused them to grow quite large. Their life force is beyond a mortal like yourself. You cannot win unless you fell them twice, or even thrice. Even if you've cornered one, you cannot let your guard down. Those things are even worse when threatened. Can you see that barrier? It is surrounded by great power. You must break through to fight that thing. A strong attack or gambit might help to break through more quickly. If you can break the barrier, that power will have nowhere else to go, and that will likely cause confusion for that thing. It cannot counter while confused, which means that is the best time to attack. If you break down all of their barriers, not only will they be confused, they will not be able to move for a short while. Without the power flowing around them, they will not be able to restore their barriers. You might even be able to get something from them. They have such might that they will not fear you alone. But a battalion could prove useful on that front. Attack them with a gambit to draw their attention and force them to target you. Be on your guard when they have realized their full power. The damage caused at times like that is not contained to just one spot. Once they have charged some power up, their barriers will be restored. You really must pay close attention to those things. Distract them with a gambit, or just take them down before they can attack. In any case, Think carefully before you act. But you should be conquering that thing instead of talking to me. If you're out of questions, get over there and fight! Such is the fate of one whose life is corrupted by a crest stone. How pitiable. The least we can do is put an end to his suffering. Mindful.
retreat. I'd like to take it easy. If you say so. Careful now. simple logic. It's starting to take shape.
goddess. The beast is gone, yet Miklon and the lance remain. It is done. Let's retrieve the lance and depart at once. Was changed. It was as though that lance was swallowing him whole. Upon that sight, it makes sense that your students were upset. I wonder if those relics truly hide such power. Yet even still, that power seems familiar. That form as well. As one who wields the sword of the Creator, does that mean you possess that power too? Professor, you have returned. The goddess is indeed generous with her divine protection. I have already heard Gilbert's report about what happened. See to it that you keep what transpired at the tower to yourself. People would lose faith in the nobles should rumors spread of one using a relic and transforming into a monster. All regions of Fodland would fall into chaos. We must avoid that at all costs. Please ensure the students who accompanied you understand that as well. Have I made myself clear? His transformation into a black beast was nothing short of divine punishment from the goddess. Punishment for someone arrogant and foolish enough to use a hero's relic even though they were unworthy and unqualified. Of course. That is why we rushed to recover it. Sadly, we did not arrive in time. The Church will formally return the lance to House Gautier, if you would. You have my gratitude. I can see that I was right to trust you with this. Please report back. I will tell you of your new mission for the coming moon at that time. I assume the Archbishop was pleased with your performance. Did you return the Lance of Ruin? There's no need to lie, Professor. No one could have expected you to disobey the Archbishop. I keep thinking about what Gilbert told us. Yes. Miklon was discarded by his family because he was born without a crest. Eventually, he became a masterful thief and gathered enough ruffians to capture a fortress. Right or wrong, he was a gifted leader. He could have been a great asset to Fodlan. What a waste! It's true that a crest can increase your magical abilities and allow you to wield the full might of a hero's relic. But one cannot measure a leader's worth based solely on whether or not they bear a crest. There are plenty of talented people in this world without one. People believe crests are blessings from the goddess, that they're necessary to maintain order in Fodlin. But the people are wrong. Crests are to blame for this brutal, irrational world we live in. Their power is granted only to a select few, whom we elevate and allow to rule the world. Have you ever wondered if the only way to create a truly free world is to dispense with the goddess and the crests? Do that, and people will have no choice but to rise and fall by their own merits. Lady Edelgard? I question whether you revealed too much to the Professor. Perhaps I did. It is true that our teacher possesses a rare talent. Even I cannot deny it. The ability to wield the Sword of the Creator is concerning. I've already explained this to you. My power alone is insufficient. That's why I'm borrowing power from those people. If our teacher can wield it in my stead, I believe that would be for the best. It's a risk. A dangerous one. 
you leave me no choice but to take matters into my own hands. Please excuse me. I can't hide from the truth. I can't do all that I must on my own. If all I can rely on is my own ambition, my path won't be easy. Is it so risky to reach out my hand? Father, I swear I will not stop until I succeed. My regret, my grief, my whole life, I've thrown it all away into the darkness. Professor, you have done well to complete such a difficult task. You have shown exceptional skill in leading your students. I am forever grateful for the safe return of the hero's relic. Just as I expected, you have mastered the sword of the creator. <laughs> now then, I shall tell you about your mission for the coming month. Re Archbishop! Seteth, what troubles you? Flane is missing. I cannot find her anywhere. Professor, have you seen Flane recently? I have searched everywhere. Where could she be? She may be in danger. Oh, no, no, no. What am I to do? Calm yourself, Sedith. Professor, we shall continue our discussion another time.